Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you an overview of Extra's Post Carousel module. So the Extra Post Carousel module is unique to the Extra theme and can be found in the admin of your website under Extra Category Builder. To get to the Post Carousels module, we need to create a new layout or open up an existing one. For simplicity's sake, I'll just go ahead and open up a category layout that I've pre-built with the Post Carousel module in it. So you can see about halfway or most of the way down my page here, um, I've got the post carousel module. Let's take a look at what that looks like on the front end real quick. So right here is my post carousel module. You can see I've set it to display all categories by latest and I've set it to display enough posts that it actually does the carousel motion, it shuffles through um, a list of 16 different posts. All right, now let's look at the settings on the back end to see how I achieve this and how you can achieve this and a lot more. So here's my post carousel module within its own row, doesn't have to be in its own row, uh, but to get to the settings, I just click on the module settings hamburger icon and open it up. So just like all of the other uh, modules, the post carousel module settings has three tabs, general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. At the top here, I have, and under general settings, I have categories. Now I can choose all or any number of category combinations that I can create here. Under post limit, I chose 16 because it's displaying currently four posts across and I wanted people to be able to click right or left a couple different times before they cycled back through the original posts that were displayed. Now again, I could choose to display just featured posts and they would only be featured posts in the categories that I selected up here, but since I have all, it would be all featured posts. I don't wanna do that for my purposes, but that's an option that you have here. I could also choose to show or not show the date. I could enable autoplay, and if I do enable autoplay, I can choose the speed, so I could say, you know, 0.5 seconds, or I could do something longer, like five seconds. It really just depends on your preference. I can also change the heading style, so I could choose to have, um, instead of it being all latest, all latest, I could choose to have it be latest all or something custom. I could enter in my own primary heading and subheading, or I could leave it at default. So we can also change the sorting method. Sorting method is most recent, most popular, or highest rated. So most popular is an average of the best ratings and comments uh, by volume, and then the highest rating is just those posts who have the highest rating. So sorting order, I can choose descending or ascending. I can choose to change my date format. I can change the admin label to be whatever I would like it to be. I can also change the CSS ID or CSS class here, uh, which is great for making customizations in my child theme or in the ePanel um, under a custom CSS. All right, let's jump over to the second uh, tab here, advanced design settings, and see what's possible under the post carousels module. All right, so I can choose here to uh, change the hover overlay color and the hoverlay, uh, <laughs> the hover overlay icon color. Um, so let's just make a quick change so you can see what I'm talking about here. So let's say change that one to red and this one to white. So currently it looks like this. We have a kind of a blackish overlay or a black or dark overlay with transparency and a white icon. I've changed it to red and white and let's preview that. So it's a much different look. And if I wanted to, I could take that red and make it more transparent. to kind of mimic the original. I, however, I'm gonna set it back to the defaults. 
So here I can even change the icon. So instead of the plus symbol, it could be anything here. Be great for music. If it's, if I'm choosing just to display musical posts, it'd be nice to have an overlay that's just music symbols. Um, and the same would go for any number of other things, books for books, um, microphone for audio, podcast or something similar. Um, and the options really go on and on film for film. There's really tons of options here and really unique ways of implementing them. I can also choose to change my nav arrow color. So this is the arrows, uh, to right or left controlling, uh, the carousel movement. I could adjust my maximum width. So let's say I didn't want it to go the full width of, um, my layout. I just wanted to limit it. It now doesn't go the full width. Um, it's limited to my maximum width, which can be very useful depending on, uh, the design aesthetic that you're going for. Okay. You can also change the header font, uh, lots of typography settings, font style, font size, color, spacing, height, um, same for the subheader font, font size, color, uh, spacing, line height. We can change the title font, title font size, and all the way down through meta as well. These are all pretty standard typography, um, adjustments or settings, but what's great is just, we've made them all really available to you and you can change them the click of a button without ever having to touch any code. Uh, with background color, you can do the exact same thing. Again, you have the option to put an image behind your carousel and have a background image. You could also use a border and without having to get into CSS, you can adjust your custom margins and paddings with just some numbers here to represent the number of pixels you would like adjusted. Uh, you can also choose to remove drop shadow and adjust your border radius. So this is everything that you can do without ever touching code. But if you did want to get into some CSS, it's pretty awesome uh, to do with our custom CSS tab. So with the custom CSS tab, you can enter some styling for before the carousel, of the carousel, after, module head, module header, module subheader, post entry, post title, and just on down for really extraordinary number of elements that we give you really isolated access to when it comes to CSS so that you can really pinpoint the changes that you want to make. So those include post meta, post overlay, post overlay icon, navigation, nav hover, nav icon, and nav icon hover. So again, lots that you can do here. Um, and we've tried to make it so that everything you want to do is clearly labeled and you can have pinpoint accuracy for all of your styling. When you're done, you need to just click save and exit. Make sure you update your post and enjoy the results on the front end. Okay, well that's all for this tutorial. This has been an overview of the extra post carousel module. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure you get a response. If you're interested in learning more about extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the view demo button. If you're interested in seeing more extra tutorials, click the subscribe button and never miss a great update. If you're interested in seeing more extra tutorials, click the subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.